Welcome to the Brass and Woodwind Shop. A lot of times old French horns have loose valves and there are two ways valves can be loose. They can either be the loose up and down or they can be loose sideways. This video will be about how to tighten valves that are loose sideways. If you want to watch the video about how to tighten valves that are loose in and out, look in the description below for links to that video. There are two places where valves can be loose. Either on the back bearing, right there, or on the bearing plate and that can be loose too and usually if one is loose they're both loose. The reason the rotors become loose over time is the metal wears down on the bearing both on the bearing plate and on the spindle of the rotor itself. When it does become loose the valves get noisy when you use them. The bearings can be tightened on this so that the valves don't wobble around. Over time the metal wears down on the bearings but it also wears down on the face of the valve too and it can wiggle around in there. You can tighten up the valve so that it does not rattle and it's quiet, but there will still be the gap between the face of the valve and the casing. The only thing you can do to fill in that gap is to get a valve job on the valves, and that's where they put plating on the valves and then they rework them. However, that is very expensive if you can even find anyone to do it. Do you know if anyone who does valve refitting on French horns? Leave a message in the comments below. Here's a tool that tightens rotary valve bearings and there are four different sizes of collets and it works on almost all French horns and most tubas and you find the one that's the right size. How this works is you turn the knob on the back and it pulls the collet in and that shrinks the collet. So you put the bearing into the tool and as you turn it, it squeezes it and that shrinks the bearing. You put the tool in a vise, put the bearing plate in the tool and then you always want the valve in there because if you squeeze this without the valve it's going to squeeze it too far and it's going to be really hard to fix after that. So then you turn the knob and turn the valve as you go because you want to know how tight it is and you can squeeze this fairly tightly until it stops moving then back it up pull it out and see how tight it is and there's still a little room to tighten that up farther. So I'm going to do that again. Okay, that stopped turning, loosen it. And I could do it again. Okay, let's see how that is. Okay, that is fairly tight. It will always wobble a little bit diagonally, but what you're looking for is you do not want it to wobble back and forth. So that's what we're looking for right there. I did all four valves, and this one is a little too tight. I tightened that up a little too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rawhide mallet, and I'm going to tap this around the edge. And I'll see if that loosens it up. Yeah, it's most of the way loose now. You don't want it to be so loose that it wiggles, but you do want it to turn freely. So it's almost good. It's still slightly too tight. So what I'm going to do is put some lapping compound on this. This is lapping compound, and I'm going to put a little bit of that on the valve, on the spindle of the valve. I'm going to work this a little bit, and that will help loosen it up just slightly and it also helps establish the graining of the valve. So that should do it. I'm going to clean up the lapping compound and then check my work. I cleaned up the lapping compound and this turns freely but it's not loose so this is what I want. I've done all the bearing plates and now it's time to do the other bearing, the one on the French horn and use the same tool to do that. You repair the casing bearing very similar to the way you repair the bearing plate. You take it and put it on the tool, the French horn tool. And always remember to keep the valve inside the instrument when you do this repair or you can do some serious damage. And also I hold it in with my thumb as I do this so the valve doesn't work its way out. Make sure the French horn is in there straight and not off to one side because that can do some serious damage too. So straighten it out, tighten the tool, and then check the valve. If it turns, you need to go farther. If it does not turn, then you can loosen it up and 
check to see if it's repaired or not. This still wobbles a little bit and makes some noise, so I'm going to tighten it up more. So I'm tightening it a little harder this time. And also, you can take the French horn and rotate it around the tool also, but be careful not to bend the French horn because then you can do damage to the, the bearing. Okay. I'm going to loosen it, okay, loosen the tool, check the valve again, the valve is tight, it does not make noise when you do that, but it is too tight, so I'm going to have to loosen that up now. It is okay if the rotor is a little too tight, because I'm going to loosen that up while lapping it in. Now I'm going to lap the rotor, which fits the rotor to the casing. The way to lap this bearing is a little different than the way to lap the other bearing. Take some lapping compound and put it on the spindle where it makes contact with the casing and then put it into the French horn. And the whole time you do this lapping, you're going to have to hold on to the rotor with your thumb to keep it from popping out. So turn it around and then turn the valve to distribute the lapping compound and I use a stop arm to do this. It helps to turn it easier. So turn that around and then when you're done take a rawhide mallet and tap it several times. Then turn it around again to even things out. And clean off the lapping compound, check the valve out, and see if it works. Now the valve turns freely and there is no motion sideways, so the repair is done. Now I just need to put it back together. I put the bearing plate and the rotor cap back on and it still turns freely and quietly. And there's no back and forth motion, so this repair is finished. I hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos and look in the description below for links to other videos on rotor repair.